Hi guys. Okay. Um, this is a last minute thing uh, that I felt it was incredibly important that I do. Uh, many of you have seen the post I put on Facebook this morning concerning the state of the industry and the fact that if we are to survive as artists right now, we're going to have to take control of our own careers and own our own portals and make the connection with our fans on our own. We have to do it. There's no other way to do it. If we do it any other way, we're really not going to make out too well financially. So we all have, as I said in the post, we all have a fan base and those, those fan bases could well be hundreds of thousands of people. You don't know. That's one thing about this business that people don't realize. There's two things. You're never as famous as you think you are, and you're always more famous than you think you are. That's that's the two things. You 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 think people know you. Lots of people know who you are. They don't. It's there's seven, almost eight billion people on the planet. They don't know you. Doesn't matter what you've done, unless you're the Beatles or Bruce Sp Springsteen or the Rolling Stones or whatever. You have a pocket of people that know you, and you, and you, and you. If you're lucky, you get to expand that circle each time you perform. You draw another person into that family. So, what I'm going to show you now is the answer to all the questions I'm receiving right now because I offered help to other artists, and by God, I'm going to give it to you, and I'm going to tell you how we've done what we've done here. And I'm not saying that you're going to make a million bucks or you're going to be able to pay all your bills with it or whatever, but you, if you don't start doing it now, six months from now, you'll be broke. So you've got to get where you can control what's coming out and what it's, what's being done with it and how it's monetized and, and, and the connection between you and your audience. That's the whole point of this. And the deeper that connection becomes, the more support you get from those people. Now, doesn't mean that every time you go online with a concert that every single person is going to give you $20. That's not how it works. People are on hard times. Some people have money to spend. Some people don't. But there will always be someone that will send you something. And... The more you create, the more content you create, and the more times you reach out to people, and the more you, the more you try to, to put something out in the world that's not doom and gloom, and the news that we see every day, and the crap that we watch happen all, all over the place, if you're putting something out that's better than that, right? And how can music not be better than that? So... Here's the secret, and I'm going to show you how you can get this entire thing started like that. Simple as pie, with, with very little financial uh, investment. Me personally, I invested $200. 200 bucks is all I spent to get this all rolling. Now, I um, had a head start on this, I admit it. Because of the song Hometown Battlefield, which pushed my subscription numbers on my channel up over a thousand. But we're going to get to that in a second. So, here is how you do this. It's very simple. If you watch YouTube, you are signed in to Google. Uh, if you're not, you need to make an account. When you sign into you, when you go to watch something on YouTube, make sure that if you have a Gmail or any of those things, you have a Google account. So when you look at YouTube and you, you see your little icon there, because you can choose your little picture in the corner there where, where it shows the account, who's on the, who's watching the account. Should be your picture, of course, or your icon, whatever you chose. Once you once you know you have an account there, you just go into the into the uh, the menu and you find settings. And settings inside settings, there'll be an option in there for you to start a YouTube channel. So do that. 
and just follow all those directions. It's completely self-explanatory. It's highly customizable. You can put all kinds of different artwork up. You can put all kinds of different design. It's all right there in front of you. All the tools are right there in front of you. There's no mystery to it. It's just you click what you need to click and you start your channel. You call it something. You get a nice piece of artwork up there so you can see when people look at it, they see whatever you want them to see on your header. And now you're ready to start putting videos up there. Now, here's where things get slightly complicated, but not that bad. Uh, okay, so here we are. You've got your page. You're ready to put videos up. Okay, so the next thing you have to do as soon as you get that channel started is you go on your phone, okay, and you download an app called YouTube Studio, YT Studio. Download that app. When you download that, it automatically ties to your YouTube channel. Okay, that's all self-explanatory as well. Once you have that app, you can click, you can open that app and you see your channel in fantastic detail. You, it tells you everything about the channel, who's watching it, how many minutes have been spent watching videos, what videos are performing the best, all of this information, right? So, and I'm assuming, we're assuming that you don't have a channel and you, or you have a channel and it's, it's lapsed as many artists let their channels lapse. And when I say lapse, I mean there's been no time spent trying to get the subscription number to a thousand people. That's the magic number, 1,000, okay? So, you start your channel. Now, here's the deal. You make, in my opinion, the best way to do this, because it's how it worked for me, is... You make a bunch of it short videos, one song, right? You do a song and you introduce the song by saying, welcome to my new, uh, my name is whatever the guy's name is, John Wiener Franken. I'm John Wiener Franken. Welcome to the John Wiener Franken YouTube channel. Here's a song for you. And I just want to let you know we're on a subscription drive. So if you like what I'm doing or you've been following me for years or whatever the case may be, please hit the subscribe button right below the picture here. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I put something up new, you'll see it. And you, and you make the video, you perform your song, and you thank everybody profusely, right? And if uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to donations in a second, but, uh, and then you, 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 you put that video, you upload that video onto your channel, okay? So step number 19, whatever we're at. Once you have that video on the channel, there'll be, um, uh, right now, there's, there's, a, there's a few things you can go over into. Uh, when you upload something, you'll see a bunch of things that have to be done. Uh, like, there'll be a, a section where it asks you if it's made for kids. So you say no, because if you, you know, you have, unless it is, but normally artists are for everybody. So not made for children. And um, uh, you'll want to do, um, okay, now we're getting into a bit of a, a whole bunch of other things that we'll, I might have to go to later, but I'm just going to get you the channel started first. So you put the video up, and once it's up and uploaded and, and people can see it, you go on, you go into the YouTube and you find the video, you get on there, and there's a little share icon in the corner of the video. You hit share and down below a menu will pop up and one of the one of the selections is copy link. So you, you hit copy link and you, you take that link, you go out of YouTube and you go over to your Facebook page. And I'm assuming you have one, but you have to start one of those too. You have to have a fan page, an artist page. Not necessarily, I mean, a personal page is fine, but the artist page has more options. So that's a simple process too. You start one of those really easily. And so you go over and you share the link. You share that video in a post. You post that link. And what ends up happening, when you post it on Facebook, Facebook automatically creates this beautiful post that has a thumbnail of the video. And, and, it's, and it, when people click it, they go right to YouTube, to your channel. Right? This is called cross-promotion. So it's incredibly important that... And you'll notice, if you're watching this video, that's exactly what I just did. 
I didn't post this to Facebook directly. I posted it to my channel, then I took the link and posted that to Facebook. So while it costs you nothing to go and watch this on YouTube, I'm getting paid advertising dollars. Okay, that's how it works. That's how all of this works. So, all right, so, there were, so we're that far. So I would, I would do this subscription drive for as long as it takes to get 1,000 subscribers on your channel. And if that means putting out a video every week or, or twice a week, put a different one song video up twice a week and, and say the same things every time. There's no repetition online because you can't tell who's seen what. So you don't, you don't assume that because you did or said something in one video that, that, that everybody saw that and knows the premise of the next video or the next video or the next video. You have to create each video as if it's its own world okay so you do a bunch of one song performance videos always the same thing always say the same thing please subscribe i'm i'm working on a subscription drive if i can get a thousand subscribers i can start to monetize my videos on youtube through google and i'll be able to create new content and blah 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 and get all that done and you just keep sharing those video links to facebook now if you want to go a step further, and when I, when I talk about how much I've spent on, on promotion and whatnot, one of the things that I spend money on, and very little, but it's very effective, is Facebook boosting. So if I, if I have something I really want to promote and have as many people see as I can get, I'll share, copy the link over to my Facebook page, and then I'll boost that post and put $20 on it. And $20 can add up to 40,000 more people seeing it. It just depends on what kind of video it is and whether or not, you know, it's a popular at the moment of the moment thing. For instance, the video, the, the, the post I put up this morning concerning all of this has got nearly 100,000 people on it already. I checked it a little while ago. It was like 67,000, but it'll be 100,000 by tonight. And that's what I mean. It just, it doesn't take much to get a bunch of people's attention, Right. And then if, if they're going to support you. There's a lot of people out there who love you, right? And, and they're there. And if they know you're doing this, they will come and they'll hit that subscribe button. They'll come and watch the videos. They'll be waiting for the next one. You'll have tons of comments to go through. I mean, it, 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 becomes, it becomes a community the same way as going out to play live shows does. It's, it's no different. You're just... You, there's an electronic medium between you and the audience, but they're still there. They're still there. And that's the important part. The connection's there. You just got to utilize it, right? So anyhow, so that's the basic premise. So I'll try to recap simply. So you, you open YouTube, you make sure that you have an active account, a Google account. If you have a Gmail account, you probably do. You go into settings, you start a channel, you follow all those or, or things, and you, you do that. You download your, y, your YouTube Studio app so you can look at your channel through that application and see everything that's happening, and you start to put videos up. N nice four-minute videos, nice one song. Tell people what you're doing. Always, always, always copy the link of the video. Once it's up on there, you, you hit share. And you copy the link over to your fan page on Facebook or your personal page, whatever you've got, but a fan page is better. And you keep making that circle. Video, share, boost. Video, share, boost. And pretty after a while, man, your subscriptions are just going to go ding, 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 ding. I got Dave Gunning up from under 600 to 1,000 in a month just by telling him this, telling him you've got to ask. People don't realize that subscribing to YouTube channel is free and that's, that there's no obligation in it. It is that you have to, people have to understand that YouTube subscriptions to a regular YouTube channel are nothing but a metric for YouTube to tell how many people are regularly watching you. And they're not going to let, they're not going to sell your videos to advertisers if you don't have at least a thousand people watching you. So that's why the number is a thousand. And that's where you have to be before you get the magic email. When you hit a thousand subscribers, Google will contact you 
At least they used to. You may have to do it yourself manually. But they will contact you, and it will be a company called AdSense. It's all one word, A-D, capital S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, AdSense. AdSense is the people who are going to give you an account that pays you directly into your bank account your royalties of the ads that appear on your videos. So before you have a, an AdSense account, your videos on YouTube would have no ads on them. When you get to a 1,000, they'll open that account, you get the passwords, you give them your banking info, and from that moment on, you don't have to do another thing to get that money except put a video up. And when you put it up, YouTube, Google, AdSense, those because they're all owned, but Google owns everything, they will sell ads to uh, products and companies that fit your content, and they'll appear at the start of your video or at the end. And you can even choose in your YTube studio, your, your YT studio app, you can literally choose where ads appear, whether they get at the bottom, whether they happen in the middle. At a certain point, you're even allowed to put them exactly where you want them. So you can literally have like a commercial break. So when you make your, when you edit your video, you can, you know, because, okay, now this is, we're going ahead a little bit, but still, I'm just telling you how incredible all this is. It's, there's so much there, and it's very, very intuitive. This It's not hard to do any of this. You just got to put a little time in, in front of a laptop, and just do the work, and hit all the buttons, and see where they do, and what they, where they go, what they do, research it, and do it, right? Okay, so, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. This is a long video, but it's, I want it, I want it to be, I want it to be as clear as I can how to do it, and, and how easy it is to do it. Now, we're going to get into, um, so we've got the channel, we're making the videos, we're doing the loop, link to Facebook, video link to Facebook, subscriptions are going up, after a while you'll have a thousand, then you're laughing, you get an AdSense account. So, at that point, you can do something you couldn't do before, and that is stream live video to YouTube, you're not allowed to do that until you have an AdSense account. Boys, that's where things get cool. Because live streaming on YouTube offers another revenue stream, okay? It's called Super Chat. Now, Super Chat is an interesting function. When you're watching, when you're watching a live video on YouTube, in, in the chat window, where you can put your comments and talk to the people who are on there live, when you when it's a monetized channel, there's a dollar sign there that they can click, and when they click it, they're asked to make a donation, and they make a donation, and the and the larger the donation, the longer their comment stays at the top of the comment queue. So, there at a certain point, advertisers will super chat you and put an ad there, and the lo the more they give you, the longer the ad stays at the top of that chat scroll right or if you have a, a super fan which are, we all have them god bless them there i have hundreds of them and they keep me going if they want to say something that they really want people to see or want something that I, they want me to see an answer they can super chat and make a, a donation that'll keep that comment pinned to the top of the queue for however it, corresponding to how much money they give so super chat adds yet another revenue stream now, here's, here's, here's about revenue streams. The best ones to use are e-transfer. So you need, you need to, if you don't online bank, you need to start so that you can accept e-transfers. And you, when you do your, your live streams, uh, even your prior and your videos that you're just posting to get your subscriptions up, you can also put your email for e-transfers in the description of the video or say it in the video and you must have a PayPal account. You've got to start one if you don't have it. Get a PayPal account and PayPal has a has a program called paypal.me. So you get a paypal.me address like mine is paypal.me slash JP Cormier Music. So that's the thing that they, they click on that link and it takes them right to my PayPal and they can give me money. 
or they can use the, the, the email to donate money through my through banking, through e-transfer. So you have to have those two streams, plus your Super Chat stream, which is always active every time you're live on YouTube. And I'm telling you, it doesn't take long before you can literally make the amount of money that you would have. See, I'm not, not making the money I was making before the pandemic, but it doesn't matter because I don't have any expenses anymore. I'm literally making my net, the net, the money I was getting home with from touring, which was, you know, 25 or 30% of the gross. Like that's how expensive it is to tour. I was, I'm now getting that 25 or 30% without leaving the house. So it's magic. I, I don't have the expenses and on the lodging, the restaurants, the blah, 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 blah. I'm just staying at home and I'm creating the most cool content I can, I can, and I'm streaming it live regularly on YouTube and people are coming on and I, I give them the option to donate and they donate and people are incredibly generous. They are incredibly generous. And if you don't allow that, if you don't let them do it, if you don't, if, if you, if you get, you can't be proud, you know, it's not, we're not begging. I'm not begging. No, none of us are. We're, we're giving something to these people who support us our, our whole lives. And, and we're giving them the option if they want to give us financial support now, instead of getting to see us live and paying 40 bucks or whatever it is to get into a building, they can stay at home and give us $10 and they just sit at home in their nice couch with their beer and they enjoy the show. And you can't put 10,000 people into a venue, but you can on YouTube, right? So it, it's all numbers. Like I'm used to playing for a hundred to 300 people. Well, I can play for 3000 people from here. And if only 10% of those people give me some money, I'm laughing. I'm set. I'm all set. I'm no, no worries. Right. And people have been incredibly, incredibly generous. And I believe they'll, they'll do it for all their favorite artists or anybody they like. And I've, and I'm, I'm experiencing, um, you know, people coming in that have never heard of me. It's, it's growing that way as well. Right. So Anyhow, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm off topic a little bit, but one more recap, the channel videos, subscriptions to a thousand, you get monetized, you get your portals for donations set up. And then now I'm going to show you some of the equipment that I'm using to do this. And while I'm sitting in a full service recording studio, and I know you may not be, it doesn't matter because you don't need a lot of gear. And I'm going to show you what we're using. This little beast right here. I know she's full of gaff tape because we're always fastening her to uh, various things around the studio. It's just protective because it's, it's uh, Ginger actually wears this when she films me. It's an iRig Pro. It's all it's a very simple piece of equipment. It has two inputs that would come from um, the source, whatever that source may be. And it has a connection at the other end that goes into your phone. A lightning connector. And uh, we use an iPhone for every single thing we do because iPhone records at 4K 60 frames per second. It's just as good as any DSLR camera. And right now I'm just using the iPhone microphones. They're 24 bits uh, stereo as well. But this device I bought actually out of, out of the box at Long McQuaid only cost 200 bucks. So what this thing does is it takes, so let me, let me just show you how this works. It's very simple and anybody can do this. You don't need a, a big console or, or a studio together or whatever, right? So what's happening here is I've got my microphone. 
my microphone goes over into my studio. Uh, and let's just say that, for sake of argument, um, you don't have a studio, which most people don't. But you don't need one. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna show you how this all works. So, I have a little session here that's my live session. So this is this is a session I'm working from, but it could just be you could just have a little six channel board. So basically, all that's happening is I took that microphone, plugged it into this board, right, and I took some headphones. You take some headphones, you plug them into the board, and you mix yourself the way you want to sound in the headphones. Then you come out of your board and in stereo, and you come out to this box, right? It goes into this box, and th there's two volume controls right here that I got them covered up because I don't want to move. This changes your level. When you start uh, putting audio through this, this lights up, and... You want it to turn, it goes from blue to green to orange to red. So you want it, your levels to be, you know, orange. And then this end goes into your phone. And you can either put your phone on a tripod or have somebody hold it for you or whatever you want. And basically, when you're streaming, uh, th this audio that comes from through your microphone and your effects and your board is what's going into the phone in the video or the live stream right? So this is the best way to record your, to present audio is to just, if you don't have a studio or whatever, you can just go buy a little, you could buy a little cheap, even secondhand six, six channel board that has maybe onboard effects, just some simple reverb. You plug your mic in, you use headphones to mix yourself the way you want to sound. The the board then goes out to this box and you set your levels, you plug your phone into the cable. And as soon as you hit video stream, as soon as you go live on YouTube, that's the audio that's coming through. And it's so simple. This box costs 200 bucks. And let's say you don't want to buy a board. You go to L and M, you rent a small system for, they're only five or $10 a day. So it's incredibly easy. The technology is not, that crazy and obviously I'm doing everything I'm doing with this one box and uh, mind you just so you can see too we we are at a bit of an advantage but it's only because we have the studio and we had the studio long before any of this started so we have our room mic'd with this pair of stereo audio technicas the ATs are on the walls here so those are live as well during my broadcast and then I use if I have a guest, he uses this AT here, or she, and then my main mic is this Aston Origin. And uh, so I do have a lot of choices here, but like I said, um, it it doesn't. If you don't have a, if you don't have a studio, you don't need one. You could just do this with a simple board that has onboard effects. So you can have a little reverb on your track when you sing. And that's that. It's just that simple. So that's the setup. That's the setup. It's very simple. Very simple. You basically need a mic with and a, a small board with maybe some effects. If you want to have effects, it's nice to have a little reverb on your mic when you're singing. That has a two quarter inch outs and... Or uh, those are also XLR, so you could use XLR outs. Whatever you want. Go into that box, into your phone, boom, Bob's your uncle. You got pro audio in in 4K video. It's ridiculously simple. Every iPhone now has this, has it. So, and if you don't use an iPhone, there's a cable for Android phones too. There's a USB-C uh, connection as well. So... That's it. That, that's, that's sort of the bottom, the, 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 the quickest way to explain all of it. You're going to find out a lot of things just by doing, but you have to start doing. You can't wait for this. It's not going to happen on its own. And the longer you wait, okay, the longer you wait to, to build this community ar around yourself, this shelter 
is what it is. You're 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 building a nice a village around yourself of the people who love you, right? If you if you if you don't start doing it now, because when this this pandemic unfortunately is not going to go away anytime soon, and I'm a, I'm a very realistic I'm a realist, and the people that support me I know are uh, my age and older, which means that a lot of them are not, not going to feel safe going out anytime soon and I don't blame them so I need a way to reach them and you need a way to reach your people right and if we all work together if we all work together and you promote my channel and I promote your channel and we get together and do things you know that we're allowed to do with social distancing and whatnot if we keep building it keep building it we're going to have a whole community of artists that own their own little worlds and i'm telling you there's enough to go around the idea that that there's that we're trying to get the same 300 people to support every friggin artist in the maritimes or in canada is a complete fallacy it's not true at all there's 35 million people in canada and most of them don't know who the hell you are but and until you start to to put your thing out there in the general online public, they'll never know who you are. So you've got to do it. You've got to do it. Got to do it. Got to do it. Got to do it. Do it. So um, now there's some little details I just want to go over at the end. Um, one of the things in YouTube that I learned from a close friend of mine, uh, James Smeaton, Highland Multimedia in Annie Ganesh. He's, man, the guy's brilliant. Also, th that reminds me, if you have a website, you should also be promoting all of this on the website. Every place that you exist online, start promoting your YouTube channel and try to get the subscriptions, like get all that stuff going all at once in concert together. So a few little things. When you start, when you, when you get monetized, you start putting videos up. Uh, one of the things you need to do is be aware of what your tags are. Now tags, people go, what is a tag? Well, a tag is, is in simple terms, a way of when people search for something, if you tag your video with a word that they're searching for, your video will show up in their feed. So I always tag my videos pretty simply, like the, my name, the type of music, like I'll put all of them in. I'll put like the, the my tags would be like Celtic bluegrass, old time guitar, fiddle, mandolin, banjo, flat picking, Chet Atkins, like all like anything that I that I that I'm known to be associated with. I stick in my tags in my list of tags, and you can actually uh, make a list that you can kind of cut and paste and drop in there every time you put a video up. So you always have your tags on the video. And what that does is when anybody searches, like if somebody searches Chet Atkins my videos are, are going to show up in their feed somewhere because I've tagged my videos with his name because I play a lot of his music, right? So things like that. There's a little, there's little deals like that. And I mean, I'm probably missing a million other things. There's, but they're not uh, insurmountable. They're all things that you'll find out by doing this process. So I'm going to make a big offer here. And I, I, Ginger actually suggested it, and I and I tend to agree with her. Um, there's, I know that there's some people, and I don't. They could be from anywhere. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be difficult to work with people outside the Maritimes. So, and plus, uh, uh, travel's a problem. But I'll tell you what: if if you're a maritime artist, and I don't care who who you are, I don't care how many records you've sold, or or not sold or what, I don't care who you are. If you are a pro player and you play regularly live gigs every year and you don't have this equipment and you don't think that you, or you don't think you can do it in time to, to make it work out. Um, I, I'm offering you now to come here. You can come here. We'll present you and we'll take, 
a small percentage of your of the income and then pay you the rest. And I mean small. We're not. We'll we'll do the same as an agent. We'll we'll provide the space. We'll do the whole thing, mix it, present it, film it, and you. We'll give you eighty eighty five percent of the revenue. And uh, and I I don't know I don't know what else I can do to to help. But if that helps you, if you need a place to come do this, we're set up to do it. And in the hopes that if you did do something like that, that we could make that be a big promotion to, for you setting up your own channel. Some people can't ju just can't get this done quick enough or, or they take more. They're going to need more time to understand it and research it and whatever. But it really is quite simple. But if you need the time and you need to make some money now. Uh, we're open. I'll, I'll take, I will help you. Will you come here? We'll help. We'll advertise it. I'm even thinking about doing like a JP Cormier presents because if this is the, this is the best way to do this. We've tried every other way and none of them work. The best way to do this is YouTube channel, Facebook promotion, free will offering from the people who attend the live streams. That's the best way to do it. As soon as you start to tell people that they must pay for something that's online when they can sit and look at anything they want to for free, they're just not going to do it. And I don't blame them. I would much rather have them come into my concert, live concert, for free and be given the opportunity. Hey, if you're having a good time, man, send us 10 bucks. And we really appreciate it. And they'll do it. They will do it. They'll support you as long as you don't try to start strong arm them into it because you're selling something now that doesn't exist. What they want to pay for a hard ticket for is to see your ugly ass in person. That's what they're missing. They want to see you in person. But if they know they can go online and see you from the comfort of their own home and you're not asking for any cash up front, they are going to appreciate that and they have appreciated that and they will support you and they supported me and they'll support you too. You have your own fan base. I have mine. We all have our own group of people who are underneath us and pushing us up into the light. And right now the world's a dark place and it's, we need each other. We need to do this for each other. Artists especially now have to stand up for each other. If we can't, if we can't get our shit together and help each other, we're all done. All of us. We're not going to make this. We got to start looking out for each other. The way that these people are looking out for me and other people that are doing it this way, because I can't be the only one. I, I, if I'm the only guy doing this, it's, that's ridiculous. And it, it, it's just, it, that can't be true. So the audience is out there waiting for you to do your thing for them. And I guarantee you, if you go there and meet them on that level ground where they can sit in their living room and have a beer and sit back and don't have to worry about driving or parking or restaurants or babysitters or any of that crap, and you go into their living rooms on YouTube on a live stream and uh, you play your heart out, I'm telling you, they're going to go, yeah, hell yeah, let's send him 10 bucks, let's send him 50 bucks, let's send him whatever. I've had outrageous donations, outrageous, and I mean that, outrageous amounts of money have been sent by, by a single individual, just out of the goodness of their heart, right? They saw how hard we're working, they loved the music, they enjoyed the show. You let people help you. The world's not as messed up as we'd like to think it is, and we have to reach out. We have to reach out. And this is the way to do it. So there's a there's a, probably a million details that I'm forgetting, but I've but I'm I've given you the core the core premise of how we've done what we have done. And it will work for you, and I know it will work for you. It worked for me, my big fat ugly butt out here, you know, shredding guitar like an idiot. If it works for me, it works for anybody. It's just that simple. It just will. So um, I'm going to leave you with that and just say that, uh, again, 
if you need help, email me. My email will be in the description of this video. Um, if you haven't hit subscribe, subscribe. And, uh, and there you go. That's all she wrote. If you, if you need our help, we're here for you. You can come here and do your concert. We'll put it on. We'll promote it. You'll learn all the ins and outs. So you can go do it yourself. And there you go. I love you guys. And I'm very touched and honored that so many people read that post this morning and thought it was worth sharing. And it's a good feeling that everybody's, everybody realizes what, what's going on and they're, and they're ready to help us. So stay safe, keep playing music and keep reaching out. That's the most important thing. Keep reaching out. We'll see you soon.